The Book of Ezekiel, Chapter 47. Then he brought me back to the door of the house, and behold, water was flowing from under the threshold of the house toward the east, for the house faced east. And the water was flowing down from under, from the right side of the house, from south of the altar. He brought me out by way of the north gate, and led me around on the outside to the outer gate, by way of the gate that faces east. And behold, water was trickling from the south side. When the man went out toward the east with a line in his hand, he measured a thousand cubits, and he led me through the water, water reaching the ankles. Again he measured a thousand and led me through the water, water reaching the knees. Again he measured a thousand and led me through the water, water reaching the loins. Again he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not ford, for the water had risen, enough water to swim in, a river that could not be forded. He said to me, Son of man, have you seen this? Then he brought me back to the bank of the river. Now when I had returned, behold, on the bank of the river there were very many trees on the one side and on the other. Then he said to me, These waters go out toward the eastern region and go down into the Araba. Then they go toward the sea, being made to flow into the sea, and the waters of the sea become fresh. It will come about that every living creature which swarms in every place where the river goes will live. And there will be very many fish, for these waters go there, and the others become fresh. So everything will live where the river goes. And it will come about that fishermen will stand beside it. From Engedi to Eneglaim there will be a place for the spreading of nets. Their fish will be according to their kinds, like the fish of the great sea, very many. But its swamps and marshes will not become fresh, they will be left for salt. By the river on its bank, on one side and on the other, will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither, and their fruit will not fail. They will bear every month, because their water flows from the sanctuary, and their fruit will be for food, and their leaves for healing." Thus says the Lord God, This shall be the boundary by which you shall divide the land for an inheritance among the twelve tribes of Israel. Joseph shall have two portions. You shall divide it, each one equally with the other. For I swore to give it to your forefathers, and this land shall fall to you as an inheritance. This shall be the boundary of the land, on the north side from the great sea by the way of Hethlon to the entrance of Zedad, Hamath, Berotha, Sibraim, which is between the border of Damascus and the border of Hamath, Hazar Hatakon, which is by the border of Hauran, the boundary shall extend from the sea to Hazarinan at the border of Damascus, and on the north toward the north is the border of Hamath. This is the north side. The east side from between Hauran, Damascus, Gilead, and the land of Israel shall be the Jordan. From the north border to the eastern sea you shall measure, this is the east side. The south side toward the south shall extend from Tamar as far as the waters of Meribah Kadesh, to the brook of Egypt and to the great sea. This is the south side toward the south. The west side shall be the great sea from the south border to a point opposite Libo Hemath. This is the west side. So you shall divide this land among yourselves according to the tribes of Israel. You shall divide it by lot for an inheritance among yourselves, and among the aliens who stay in your midst, who bring forth sons in your midst. And they shall be to you as the native born among the sons of Israel. They shall be allotted an inheritance with you among the tribes of Israel. And in the tribe with which the alien stays, there you shall give him his inheritance, declares the Lord God. Chapter 48 now these are the names of the tribes, from the northern extremity beside the way of Hethlon to Libo Hamath, as far as Hazarinan at the border of Damascus, toward the north beside Hamath, running from east to west, Dan, one portion, beside the border of Dan, from the east side to the west side, Asher, one portion, beside the border of Asher, from the east side to the west side, Naphtali, one portion, beside the border of Naphtali, from the east side to the west side, Manasseh one portion, beside the border of Manasseh from the east side to the west side, Ephraim one portion, beside the border of Ephraim from the east side to the west side, Reuben one portion, beside the border of Reuben 
from the east side to the west side, Judah, one portion. And beside the border of Judah, from the east side to the west side, shall be the allotment which you shall set apart, twenty-five thousand cubits in width and in length, like one of the portions, from the east side to the west side, and the sanctuary shall be in the middle of it. The allotment that you shall set apart to the Lord shall be twenty-five thousand cubits in length and ten thousand in width. The holy allotment shall be for these, namely for the priests, toward the north, twenty-five thousand cubits in length, toward the west, ten thousand in width, toward the east, ten thousand in width, and toward the south, twenty-five thousand in length. And the sanctuary of the Lord shall be in its midst. It shall be for the priests who are sanctified of the sons of Zadok, who have kept my charge, who did not go astray when the sons of Israel went astray, as the Levites went astray. It shall be an allotment to them from the allotment of the land, a most holy place, by the border of the Levites. Alongside the border of the priests, the Levites shall have twenty-five thousand cubits in length and ten thousand in width. The whole length shall be twenty-five thousand cubits and the width ten thousand. Moreover, they shall not sell or exchange any of it, or alienate this choice portion of land, for it is holy to the Lord. The remainder, five thousand cubits in width and twenty-five thousand in length, shall be for common use for the city, for dwellings and for open spaces, and the city shall be in its midst. These shall be its measurements, the north side, four thousand five hundred cubits, the south side, four thousand five hundred cubits, the east side, four thousand five hundred cubits, and the west side four thousand five hundred cubits. The city shall have open spaces, on the north two hundred fifty cubits, on the south two hundred fifty cubits, on the east two hundred fifty cubits, and on the west two hundred fifty cubits. The remainder of the length alongside the holy allotment shall be ten thousand cubits toward the east, and ten thousand toward the west, and it shall be alongside the holy allotment, and its produce shall be food for the workers of the city." The workers of the city, out of all the tribes of Israel, shall cultivate it. The whole allotment shall be twenty-five thousand by twenty-five thousand cubits. You shall set apart the holy allotment, a square with the property of the city. The remainder shall be for the prince, on the one side and on the other of the holy allotment and of the property of the city, in front of the twenty-five thousand cubits of the allotment toward the east border, and westward in front of the twenty-five thousand toward the west border, alongside the portions, it shall be for the prince, and the holy allotment and the sanctuary of the house shall be in the middle of it. Exclusive of the property of the Levites and the property of the city, which are in the middle of that which belongs to the prince, everything between the border of Judah and the border of Benjamin shall be for the prince. As for the rest of the tribes, from the east side to the west side, Benjamin one portion, Beside the border of Benjamin, from the east side to the west side, Simeon one portion. Beside the border of Simeon, from the east side to the west side, Issachar one portion. Beside the border of Issachar, from the east side to the west side, Zebulun one portion. Beside the border of Zebulun, from the east side to the west side, Gad one portion. And beside the border of Gad, at the south side toward the south, the border shall be from Tamar to the waters of Meribah Kadesh, to the brook of Egypt, to the great sea. This is the land which you shall divide by lot to the tribes of Israel for an inheritance. And these are their several portions, declares the Lord God. These are the exits of the city. On the north side, four thousand five hundred cubits by measurement shall be the gates of the city, named for the tribes of Israel, three gates toward the north, the gate of Reuben, one, the gate of Judah, one, the gate of Levi, one. On the east side, four thousand five hundred cubits, shall be three gates, the gate of Joseph, one, the gate of Benjamin, one, the gate of Dan, one. On the south side, four thousand five hundred cubits by measurement, shall be three gates, the gate of Simeon, one, the gate of Issachar, one, the gate of Zebulun, one. On the west side, four thousand five hundred cubits shall be three gates, the gate of Gad, one, the gate of Asher, one, the gate of Naphtali, one. The city shall be eighteen thousand cubits round about, and the name of the city from that day shall be, The Lord is there. Mm -hmm.